You guys ready? There was a boy with a great opinion after opinion. You ready? Go. It's Andrew Pinion outside the original Togo in San Jose, California, next to San Jose State uh, the University. And the very first Togos were started here in 1968, and the, the first franchise came 10 years later. The late 90s, uh, the Duncan Umbrella Corp Publicly Traded Corporation, which owned uh, Duncan Brands, which owns the Duncan Donuts, bought them. And they, now they're owned by someone called Mezzanine Capital right now. Uh, I couldn't get to find information on how many locations they currently are. Uh, I've seen in the late 90s there was hundreds of uh, locations, like over 350, something like that. I don't know what it is today. Uh, but unfortunately, this Togo's, the oldest location, which is still standing, is closed. I don't know if it's indefinite. Uh, but I, had, I, I came here and I ended up getting a DoorDash. Instead, I got the Pretzelina, Pretzelini sandwich, which is their, uh, it's their pretzel sandwich with, uh, I believe it's salami. It's a big mess, you see, with the pretzel bun. I don't want to open it. It's going to go everywhere. Uh, it also comes with mustard. <laughs> and that's someone who's going to pick me up after my heart burn. Okay. A little greasy, I'm gonna blame that. The fact that it's uh, like a 30 or 40 minute door dash that goes to Togo. It's a little bit of a messy affair. It's yummy though. It is yummy. It's a pretzelini, I believe it's I'm worried I'm going to get this wrong. You know, there's bacon in there. I have bacon, Swiss cheese, pickles, mustard. I believe it's, it's pastrami. It's what it is. I'm sorry. It's pastrami. It's a pretzel bun sandwich with pastrami. You see coming up the ends with bacon, mustard, and pickles. It's very greasy. We have the pretzel bun, the pastrami bacon. See some pickles and mustard. It's just coming out at the seams. I've never seen an advertisement. I saw it on the DoorDash and it reads menu. It looks really good. Strami is a rich tasting meat. It tastes good. The tanginess of the mustard, the tanginess of the mustard, and I would say the pickles adds a nice crunch to it and vinegariness to it. The cheese melted is gooey and nice. There's some added bacon I like. There's a lot of flavor going on. There's a lot going on. I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty good. I think it's the pastrami, the pretzel bun, and the mustard and pickles. It's like nine something. Okay, price point. Pretty good. You get a lot of meat. It's a good sandwich. Oh, they're good. Well, I'm not going to say it's great because it was a little too greasy for me for that. And the buns were a little bit soggy. Now, Give them a bit of a doubt because it was a long door dash ride. It was definitely good. A little bit too greasy. A little soggy. I'll give it three out of four okay. A lot of flavor on there. It's good. I like it. It's just a little soggy, a little greasy. But again, the soggy and the all flavor would be just like the long way. A good flavor in there. Pastrami, a lot of pastrami, hearty portion, delicious, pickles, mustard, pretzel, good, price points okay. I'm gonna give it three out of four, so it's a good broccoli cheddar soup we're gonna try. This is better than the Quiznos broccoli soup. The soup I tried is better. There's actually broccoli. 
lot of cheddar cheese. This would be good like on a rainy day. It's satisfactory. It has a little bit of a like Velveeta ish taste, which is fine. Don't get me wrong, that could be really delicious, but it's not it doesn't taste like as much cheddar cheese-ish. I'm not gonna say it's great, but it's really good. It almost tastes like a sauce or something. More than a soup. But it's good. I'm gonna give it three out of four stars. I gave the broccoli cheddar at a it's like two. This is three. This is three out of four. This is good. This step up. Actual broccoli in there. It's yummy.